Greetings, everyone. It is I, Phoenix, the guy behind the mic for Back to Ashes. For those of you who have not seen my face, hi. <laughs> um, I only normally show my face on this channel when I do my lives, so if you haven't caught one of those, there you go. I want to start off by apologizing to everyone about the whole uploading videos. I read through, oh my gosh, what felt like hours of YouTube's policies and guidelines and all of that jazz. Um, and I got mixed up in what I could and couldn't do. Basically right now, why I'm going through an appeal to have my channel remonetized, we'll get to that in a minute, I can't take down any videos or they will not um, go over my appeal. Anyway, I can upload. I just will not be paid for them. As most of you know or probably have heard, YouTube is my full-time job. This is what pays the bills, keeps the lights on, keeps me sitting here, puts food in my stomach, takes care of my family. And two, narrating is my passion. I was very lucky last January when a good friend of mine, most of you may know who he is, in her scarce sleep, brought me onto his channel on a live and introduced me as the guy who also runs Phoenix Fire Narrations. He helped me establish Back to Ashes. He had heard my voice and said, you've got the voice to put people to sleep, and that's not a bad thing. So I started Back to Ashes, and literally within, I can't remember, a week or two, I you all blew this channel up and I am forever grateful, meaning that I got the watch time hours and I got the whatever else it took. I'm sorry, I can't think at the moment. Um, but anyway, I hit the quota for my channel to be accepted into the YouTube partner program, which means all of my videos I can monetize and I get paid for those. And ever since then, Last year was, oh my gosh, it was it was a blur because it was just unreal. Most people who get monetized, it takes a long time. And I do mean long time. You have to meet watch time hours and all of this stuff before they will even consider bringing you into the partnership program. It takes people ages. And that's not a lie. You can look that up yourself. I got blessed because of you all that the channel blew up and the rest is history. I've been sitting here for a year and three months now, narrating videos to help people fall asleep to. I consider it sleep therapy. Even though I've been accused of, you're not a real sleep therapist, I never claim to be. <laughs> I just call it sleep therapy or my phrase that I use all the time, vocal melatonin. And I've loved every minute of it. Um, for those of you that know, I upload literally every single day and a little behind the scenes look when you narrate a video, it is not peaches and cream. I stumble over my words. It <laughs> There's times when I come in here and the vibe just isn't flowing and I just want to give up, but I keep going because of my passion, because of my, my drive, my love to narrate and to I always feel like I let people down if I don't upload a new video that they can listen to to fall asleep. Trust me, I know how boring it becomes listening to a video more than once, twice, sometimes three times. And that is the reason I upload every single day. At first, I was experimenting, only doing it twice a week, then three times a week. And I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to do it every single day. I like the fact that I can work from home and be at my family's disposal when they need me, or I make my own hours and sit here and work as long as I feel like it. Hence the reason I built the studio in my home. All of that was glorious until this past Friday, when for some strange odd reason, I woke up to one of my members in the as I like to say, one of the OG supporters <laughs> of Back to Ashes since the very beginning, um, Cindy Cleveland. 
I'll put her name here just simply because she has been a foundation um, for Back to Ashes. She's been here since the beginning and has remained a loyal listener and subscriber and member since day one, pretty much. Thank you, Cindy. My heart goes out to you. I'm forever grateful. But anyway, I woke up to a notification from Cindy asking me why her membership privileges weren't active. And I was a little confused, thinking mm, maybe it's another glitch from YouTube or something. No. Instead, I came in here to the studio. I pulled everything up. And sure enough, I had an email in my in my um, box that told me that my channel had been demonetized, meaning I will no longer be getting paid from YouTube because... I was reusing content and also using AI for my voice. You guys are seeing me right now in this video talking to you using my voice. There's, I don't have anything plugged into this microphone or my equipment that alters my voice in any way. This is me. Granted, you hear a more polished version of it, not this voice right here that has all that sh TV static and stuff behind it. I edit all of that out so my voice is very um, clarified when you're listening to it during the day, during the afternoon, or when you're going to bed at night. So basically, I had to submit a, an appeal to YouTube because I don't show my face in my videos. I don't. As I said, I only show my face on lives. Apparently, I guess that wasn't good enough because they flagged the video. So I had to submit an appeal, basically... Um, all that is, is a video that's under five minutes that you need to show your face on camera for and explain to YouTube and beg them for another chance to get your monetization back because you, in fact, don't use or reuse content. You don't, in fact, use AI in the video they also want you to show them how your process works to make your to make your content. So I got on there. I actually showed them, you know, everything I sit here and do from narration to the very end when it hits the platform, editing, all of that jazz. Also, with the reusing content, I had to explain how I don't reuse content. I have a group of authors that I can turn to at any given moment. They like writing me stories that are only written for Back to Ashes because they like the way I narrate. They like the way I breathe life into their work. Granted, it is not my story. I am narrating it. Um, and if you ask me, that, that's not reusing content when the content was intended for you in the first place. I myself studied English in college I dabble here and there, but I've just lost my juju to write stories and bring them to the platform. You all have only heard one story that I wrote called The Sandman because it's a true story about my life when I was younger. Part two was in the works of coming out, but I refused to upload any more videos to this platform on Back to Ashes until I hear back from the appeal department. Ironically enough, YouTube rolled out an AI bot system that is now burning their platform uh, down, in my opinion. Um, it's flagging any videos that use an AI voice, but within all of that, it has a huge flaw. It is snatching people like myself or most recently, Channels like Disturbin or Darkness Prevails, they also got demonetized. I do know Disturbin's back up and active. He got his back. Congratulations. I don't know these content creators, but I know their stories based off Twitter. And Darkness Prevails, I don't know um, the outcome of that situation. I do know me. Um, I have to sit here and wait 14 days for a human to go over my entire channel to thoroughly check it that I'm not reusing content. I'm not stealing content. I'm not using an AI voice 
either. I have no reason to steal content because I am a genuine person and I keep my heart open to everyone, even crap you guys probably don't want to hear or whatever. That is just who I am. People that know me in real life know that that's how I am. So I wanted to shed some light onto this entire dramaful situation. This is not the first time that YouTube has been all over back to ashes. Um, I've had strikes and all kinds of stuff based on their mistakes that they finally owned up to. But when you get demonetized, there's a lot of stuff they don't own up to. Um, and I'm going to take a moment and thank each and every one of you that keep up with the community posts and went over to Twitter, aka X, or right here on YouTube and tagged YouTube to let them know that they made a huge mistake. I myself have been tagging them and tagging them and tagging them, asking them to please restore my YPP privileges so I can continue on making money right here on YouTube because this pays my bills, this puts food in my stomach, this supports my family, and that rug was just snatched out from under me for no reason. But this happens all the time. Every one of you get to see the glitz and glamour of the finished product, but behind the scenes, there's a lot of people that don't really uh, talk about this stuff, but I do. So um, it's just like in the past when I've had an actual job in which I had to leave my home and you know, clock in and clock out. It didn't matter if there was an issue on the job, I'm going to bring it up. If I am, you know, working my butt off to make money and make you money, if there's an issue, of course, I'm going to bring it up. I think anyone, um, when it regards their money is going to speak up about this stuff. So anyway, behind the scenes, this is the stuff that that happens to us content creators, especially the narration community. I find it discriminating in a sense um, because they belittle us and look to us as we are secondhand creators which is a slap in the face because while we may not be on screen i personally and truthfully along with the others find that narration is a form of entertainment here on youtube when you read a story you blaze right through it you know, cool. Narrating it, oh my God, it takes a lot of time. I don't care how much you pronunciate everything to a T. You're going to trip over your words. You're going to read sentences ahead. You're going to reread stuff. I mean, it happens all the time. It's just one of those things that goes into sitting in front of a computer screen and reading a story. Plus, on top of that, the content that I create that has multiple stories in one video that takes a long time. So while everyone is just seeing 45 minutes to an hour, or I'm sorry, listening to that much content behind the scenes, it can take me upwards of four, five, six hours, depending on how long the video is to get it recorded, to edit it down, to clean it up, to upload it. I mean, there's a lot that goes into, into that, excuse me. Um, and also I make my own thumbnails. So Everything on Back to Ashes is me. There's no there's no one else. I don't have a team that helps me. I don't have a partner that helps me. I don't have someone else that I've paid to help me. No, all of this is authentically me. So with all of that being said, before I continue to ramble on, I wanted to bring it to your attention that during this entire appeal process, the 14 days you have to wait, if you're not remonetized sooner everyone that continues to watch your content or maybe say one of your videos goes viral during those 14 days we do not get paid for that that's a lot of what people don't say when you're part of the program and it's not me calling out youtube i'm calling out facts so I am sitting here for 14 days losing income from membership. You know, I, I make money off memberships. Um, I create the content. That's how I make a living. Any money that's made in that two-week time frame is lost. You don't get it. I 
firmly believe maybe they're lining their pockets with it. I don't know. So there is the entire truth and behind the scenes explanation of what's going on. I know for the people that keep up with the community tab, I mean, that's a lot to read. And sometimes it goes um, a little longer than expected, but that's what happens. Excuse me, my computer screen shut off. So right now you guys are actually seeing like mistakes that I would actually like remove from a video, but no, I'm not gonna remove this. I've left in, I'm leaving in all the flaws. I'm not gonna edit the vocals, you know, taking away that shh that you're listening to. The um, almost like static on a television. That's called my noise floor, which just means any noise that you can't hear with your ears. It's what the microphone is picking up. So that's also part of my job. I have. I started narrating with no teachers. I taught myself how to do all of this. I, oh my God, the money I spent trying to get started narrating, it's phenomenal. Um, I can't put a price tag on it because that's how much, you know, I've spent. But anyway, through flaws and, and falling on my butt quite a few times, I finally got the hang of it. I finally have extremely nice equipment to bring my narrations to life. And if you go all the way back up until now, you can see the progression that the narrations have. And I still learn day by day. So as I said, this is my job. I take this extremely seriously. I'll upgrade a piece of equipment just to make sure that my content is grade A. I have bad OCD. I've got extremely picky tendencies that that spill over into my work but that is because i'm a perfectionist i'm a human being reading to adults so i'm putting myself out in front of millions of people so i'm of course i'm going to beat myself up to make sure that it's perfect granted you know when i read certain stories i'm reading someone else's work so you hear me narrate it i will never alter an author's work. So even if it doesn't make sense, or I have maybe mispronounced a word or two, um, that is the author's work. Certain things, you know, of course, like, if it's misspelled or something, I'll actually get the correct pronunciation of it. I have tripped over my words and, you know, not pronunciated things the way that um, most people view as this is the way you say it. Trust me, I get all those uh, comments. But anyway, this is me being a perfectionist to bring this to you all. So the reason behind this video is because the community tab, the information that I'm posting on there um, has confused a few people and I understand, um, but I just decided to film this. So you can just listen to it. You get to see it. You get to see me in the raw. You get to hear everything behind this. So with that being said, I'm gonna wrap this up but before I do, thank each and every one of you that are reaching out to me in the comment sections. And thank you to those that have gone over to Twitter, aka X, and here on YouTube and tag them. Because I can only speak so much. Pretty much YouTube ignores you if you've been kicked out of their YPP. But with an army, they actually listen. They're very responsive on Twitter. Now, after two or three replies from them, they completely ignore me now. So I'm just waiting to see what they have to say. So, yeah, if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to leave it in the comment section here. Of course, I can, you know, um, reply to you. I can technically still upload videos, but I'm not getting paid for that. And I don't want to sit here and pour my heart into the channel without that reward that I busted my butt to obtain. That may sound like I don't care. Trust me, I do. I take this channel extremely seriously. This is my livelihood. With that being said, um, like I always say, in the meantime, please take care of yourselves. I will be reading to you soon. Peace, love, and light to you all.